North Dakota CDL practice test. Question 1. Which of the following should you not do if you experience a tire failure? Hold the steering wheel firmly. Be aware that a tire has failed. Stay off the brake pedal. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Answer. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Question 2. What might happen if you swing wide to the left before you turn right? Someone might try to pass you, on your right. You might damage your leaf springs. Someone might try to pass you, on your left. All of the above. Answer. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. Question 3. Which of these is not part of the basic method for shifting up? Release the clutch and press the accelerator at the same time. Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Push in the clutch and shift into higher gear at the same time. Release the clutch. Answer. Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Question 4. Is it true that as long as the engine is not overheated, it is completely safe to remove the radiator cap? Yes. Yes, as long as the radiator isn't damaged. Yes, as long as there is no overflow. No. Answer. No. Question 5. The minimum tire tread depth for front tires is? 3 eighths inch depth. 1 30 second inch depth. 4 30 seconds inch depth. 1 half inch depth. Answer. 4 30 seconds inch depth. Question 6. Which of the following should you do when confronted by an aggressive driver? If you can safely do it, call the police from a cell phone. Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively. Avoid eye contact. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 7. If you double your speed, how much more distance will it take to stop? Three times as much. Twice as much. Four times as much. Five times as much. Answer. Four times as much. Question 8. How can you determine if your vehicle is equipped with ABS? Look for wheel speed sensor wires that are coming from the rear of your brakes. Check for yellow ABS malfunction lamps on the instrument panel. Check if your vehicle was manufactured after March 1, 1998, they are required to have the panel light. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 9. The most important hand signal you should agree on with a helper is. Turn up the music. Faster. Stop. Go. Answer. Stop. Question 10. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you. If possible, 
Turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Have all your emotionally hard conversations in the first hour of driving. Only read maps or your phone when there are no cars around you. Smoke, eat, and drink during straight portions of the road. Answer If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Question 11. If you are traveling at 55 miles per hour in a 30-foot vehicle, you should leave how many seconds of following distance? 3 seconds 4 seconds 6 seconds 7 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 12. You should inspect wheel bearing seals for Leaking Tears Twisted axles Broken leaf springs Answer Leaking Question 13. Which of the following can you not use a BC fire extinguisher on? Grease fire Gasoline fire Electrical fire Wood Answer Wood Question 14. What is not one of the four skill areas that operating a commercial vehicle requires? First aid certification Safely backing Accelerating Steering Answer First aid certification Question 15 which of the following is not something you should check during a trip? Mirrors Text messages Cargo and cargo covers Tires Answer Text messages Question 16. During your pre-trip test when examining hoses with the instructor, you need to look for Phrase in the water pump belt The location of the dipstick Low windshield washer fluid level Puddles on the ground Answer Puddles on the ground Question 17 do empty trucks have the best braking? Yes, but only on wet surfaces. No. Yes, but only if the truck is newer than 1998. Yes. Answer. No. Question 18. What is the best way to figure out how many seconds of following distance you have? Get one fourth closer to the car in front of you, then back off again. Multiply how long this took you by four for following distance. Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Use the stopwatch on your phone to try to determine how long before you reach a mile marker after the car in front of you appeared to reach it. Text a friend and tell them to text you back in 10 seconds and see how long that seemed to take compared to far you traveled. Answer Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Question 19. What is a common cause of tire fires? Overinflated tires. 
underinflated tires, cold tires, all of the above. Answer Underinflated tires. Question 20. What can you do at an accident site to help avoid another accident? Have a drink to calm your nerves. Stay in your vehicle and do nothing until help arrives. Leave your vehicle, do nothing, and get to higher ground. Put out warning devices so people don't run into the accident site. Answer Put out warning devices so people don't run into the accident site. Question 21 What is the gross vehicle weight, GVW? The total weight of a single vehicle and its load. A vehicle's maximum weight rating, specific by its manufacturer. The total weight that includes the vehicle, towed vehicles, and the load. All of the above. Answer The total weight of a single vehicle and its load. Question 22 to help you stay alert and safe while driving, you should Have a whiskey to brace yourself Avoid medications with warning labels Drink coffee if you get drowsy Roll down your windows to get fresh air Answer Avoid medications with warning labels Question 23. What's the definition of a hazard? Something you can safely ignore. Something you can easily avoid. A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Something you must stop for. Answer. A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Question 24. How often must you stop to check your cargo while on the road? Within the first 50 miles. After each break you take while you're driving. Every 3 hours or 150 miles. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 25. Where should you place your warning devices, if you must stop on a one-way or a divided highway? 100 feet, 200 feet, and 300 feet toward approaching traffic. 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. 50 feet, 100 feet, and 150 feet toward approaching traffic. 20 feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. Answer 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Question 26. How long will you lose your CDL driving privileges if you are convicted of a second DUI offense in either a CMV or your private vehicle? 5 years minimum 10 years minimum Life 1 year minimum Answer Life Question 27. Total stopping distance is a combination of Reaction distance plus viewing distance plus braking distance Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance Braking distance plus stopping distance Reaction distance plus braking distance
Answer. Perception distance plus reaction distance plus breaking distance. Question 28. Which of the following is the key steering component? Bearing plate. Leaf spring. Torque rod. Gearbox. Answer. Gearbox. Question 29. While driving at night, which beams should you use as often as you can? Low beams. Emergency flashers. High beams. Novelty lights. Answer. High beams. Question 30. Which two special conditions indicate that you should downshift? Starting up a hill and finishing a curve. Starting up a hill and entering a curve. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Starting down a hill and finishing a curve. Answer. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Question 31. Which of the following determines the safe speed for going down a steep downgrade? The road conditions. The total weight of the vehicle and cargo. The steepness of the grade. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 32. On what roads, you should reduce your speed by? One quarter. Sixty percent. One third. One half. Answer. One third. Question 33. What happens when you let the air out of hot tires? It will cool them down. You will be able to continue your journey sooner. This is a good idea so the extra pressure is relieved. It has no effect at all. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. Answer. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. Question 34. What constitutes a hazardous materials placard? Signs that help tax collectors determine how much to tax a hazardous cargo. Signs that warn the public to stay at least 1,000 feet away from the vehicle. Signs on the inside of the vehicle that remind the driver what he is carrying. Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Answer Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Question 35 why is it important to use a helper when backing? Because you are providing a job for someone else. Because you have blind spots. Because people feel more comfortable when you do. All of the above. Answer. Because you have blind spots. Question 36. How many seconds does it take for a normal tractor trailer to clear a double track? More than 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 14 seconds. More than 30 seconds. Answer. More than 15 seconds. Question 37. 
you should place the starter switch key into your pocket while you are performing the pre-trip inspection because Someone could steal the truck. Someone could start and move the truck. It could damage the starting mechanism. All of the above. Answer. Someone could start and move the truck. Question 38. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. Apply the hand valve. Put on the parking brake whenever necessary. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 39. Starting the engine and inspecting the cab involves each of these tasks, except Checking the air pressure gauge Checking the transmission controls Starting the engine, then putting the gear shift in neutral Starting the engine, then listening for unusual noises Answer Starting the engine, then putting the gear shift in neutral. Question 40. What will help a drunk sober up? Coffee. Fresh air. Time. A glass of water. Answer. Time. Question 41. How many hours of sleep does the average person need per night, or risk accumulating sleep debt? 6 to 8 hours. 8 to 9 hours. 7 to 8 hours. 6 to 7 hours. Answer. 7 to 8 hours. Question 42. Why should you cover cargo? To protect your cargo from bad weather. Because many states require it. To protect individuals from any spilled cargo. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 43. Which of these are you not responsible for it when it comes to your cargo? Recognizing possible overloads. Inspecting the cargo. Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Making sure that cargo is properly secured. Answer. Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Question 44. Retarders keep you from skidding on the road because They help you control your speed. They give you more control over your brakes. They don't, you skid more easily with retarders. They help reduce your reaction distance. Answer. They don't, you skid more easily with retarders. Question 45. It has just reached freezing. Which of the following areas is slippery? A shaded area. When looking road. A bridge. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 46. What is the maximum height for a vehicle in North Dakota, before it will be classified as an oversized load? 18 feet 14 feet 15 feet 20 feet Answer 
14 feet. Question 47. Always try to back toward the driver's side because your truck will naturally pull toward the driver's side. It's more comfortable for turning your neck. You can see better watching the vehicle rear at the side window. All of the above. Answer You can see better watching the vehicle rear at the side window. Question 48. Before transporting a sealed load, you must check that you don't exceed gross weight and axle weight limits. A picture of whatever is inside. A small sample of whatever is inside. All of the above. Answer. That you don't exceed gross weight and axle weight limits. Question 49. How many tie downs are required for a 20 foot load? Four tie downs. Two tie downs. Three tie downs. One tie down. Answer. Two tie downs. Question 50. An anti lock braking system will let you drive faster, shorten your stopping distance, keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard, increase a vehicle's ultimate stopping power. Answer Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.